From opulent palaces to bloody revolutions, the Romanovs have captured the imaginations of people for centuries. In this video, we'll be exploring the incredible history of this iconic family and revealing five surprising facts that you won't want to miss. The coronation of Nicholas II and Alexandra in 1896 was meant to be a joyous occasion, but the subsequent public celebrations at Kudinka Field turned into a disaster. The tragedy occurred a few days after the coronation, during the public festivities that were held to celebrate the event. The day began with a procession to Moscow's Kadinka Field, where gifts were scheduled to be distributed to the large crowd. The field was a poor choice of venue for the event. It was a large, open space surrounded by deep ditches and full of holes, making it easy to stumble and fall. The authorities had not made adequate preparations for the large crowds that were expected to attend the event and they had not taken into account the fact that many people would be arriving from out of town and would be unfamiliar with the area. During the celebration, rumors of a shortage of free egg biscuits, sausages, and commemorative mugs led to a stampede. It was a chaotic and terrifying scene in which over 1,300 people were trampled to death and thousands more were injured. Despite the tragedy, the celebration continued as planned with a lavish banquet and ball in the Kremlin. However, many attendees were shaken by the events of the day. Nicholas was reportedly deeply upset upon learning about the tragedy, and along with Alexandra, promised compensation to those who were affected by the stampede. Nevertheless, the disaster at Kadinka Field became a symbol of the Tsar's disconnect from his people and his inability to understand their needs. It was a foreshadowing of the challenges that Nicholas would face during his reign, including widespread poverty political unrest, and the rise of revolutionary movements. Nicholas and Alexandra's marriage was unique among royal marriages because it was based on a deep, abiding love and mutual devotion rather than being solely arranged for political or strategic purposes. They first met in 1884 at the wedding of Alexandra's older sister, Princess Elizabeth, and Nicholas's uncle, Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich. Nicholas was 16 years old and Alexandra, then Princess Alex, was 12. It is believed they fell in love at first sight, although both of their families were opposed to such a match. The two were able to see each other again during Alexandra's six-week stay in St. Petersburg to visit her sister. After that, they were in love even more deeply. In 1891, Nicholas wrote in his diary, it is my dream to one day marry Alex H. I have loved her for a long time, but more deeply and strongly since 1889 when she spent six weeks in Petersburg. For a long time, I have resisted my feeling that my dearest dream will come true. They became engaged in 1894 and were married the same year in a lavish ceremony in St. Petersburg. It is known that the couple wrote to each other regularly throughout their lives, sharing their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. The letters were filled with heartfelt expressions of love and care, as well as the use of affectionate nicknames such as Darling Sonny, Sweetest Treasure, Precious Wifey, and My Very Life. It's clear that Nicholas and Alexandra's love story was truly remarkable, and their letters show just how deep and sincere their affection for each other was. Grigory Rasputin was a Siberian peasant and mystic who became a close advisor to the Romanovs between the years of 1905 and 1908. He gained influence in the court due to his supposed healing powers, which he claimed to derive from his religious faith. Rasputin was able to charm the Serena Alexandra, who believed he could heal her hemophiliac son, Alexei. His apparent success in treating the young heir's bleeding episodes along with his ability to provide her with companionship and support contributed to his growing influence at the Russian court. Rasputin's intense gaze and hypnotic eyes were often noted by people who knew him during his lifetime, and many believed that he possessed some kind of supernatural power or ability to influence others through his blue-gray eyes. He is described in literature as having the ability to charm and manipulate people particularly women, through his charisma and persuasive powers. Rasputin's rise to power was not without controversy. He was widely rumored to be involved in scandalous and depraved activities, 
including sexual misconduct and excessive drinking. Many people believed that Rasputin had a sinister influence over the Romanov family, particularly Serena Alexandra. Some rumors claimed that he was secretly controlling the government and making decisions on behalf of the Tsar. Grigory Rasputin was assassinated in the year 1916 by a group of conspirators led by Prince Felix Yusupov. Yusupov claimed to have laced Rasputin's food and wine with cyanide, but when Rasputin survived the dose, the prince and his associates resorted to shooting him and throwing him into the Neva River. There has been some controversy surrounding Rasputin's death as Yusupov claimed to have poisoned him, but the autopsy report found no evidence of cyanide. Additionally, Rasputin's daughter Maria contradicted Yusupov's account by stating that her father never ate sweets. Rasputin's death had a profound impact on the imperial family, further eroding their already weak standing with the Russian people. Nicholas II and George V were both rulers of two of the most powerful nations in Europe in the early 20th century. King of the United Kingdom from 1910 to 1936, George V was the grandson of Queen Victoria and the grandfather of Queen Elizabeth II. What's interesting is that the two men were first cousins and looked so alike that they were frequently mistaken for one another. This was a source of ongoing frustration for Nicholas. They both were of similar height and had brown hair, remarkable blue eyes, and full beards. Their physical similarities were further emphasized by their clothing, as both men often wore military uniforms or formal attire that emphasized their regal bearing. Nicholas and George shared similar personalities as well, both being shy, enjoying practical jokes, and having a youthful spirit. Nicholas and George were close childhood friends who frequently spent time together at various family events. Before ascending to the throne, the cousins developed a casual correspondence. They exchanged letters on a variety of topics, from personal matters to political developments in their respective countries, often addressing each other as Georgie and Nikki. During the Russian Revolution in 1917, Nicholas was forced to give up the throne amidst concerns of a potential counter-revolution. The Romanov family found themselves in a precarious situation and were forced to seek asylum. With the Russian government pressuring them to leave the country, the family looked to the United Kingdom for refuge. They had initially agreed to provide asylum, however shortly after that, the invitation was withdrawn due to King George becoming increasingly worried that their presence would lead to public protests and create instability for his own reign. Amidst the Russian Revolution of 1917, Tsar Nicholas was persuaded to abdicate his throne as he lost all control of the country as a whole. Shortly after that, the Romanov family was imprisoned by the Russian government. Over the following months, they were shuffled from one location to another, with each move bringing increasing restrictions on their freedom. Eventually, they found themselves confined within the walls of the Ipatiev house in Yekaterinburg, still clinging to the hope that they would soon be brought to safety. With their windows painted over and the house barricaded, the family and their servants who had come along with them were effectively cut off from the outside world. They were allowed a brief venture into the garden each day, where they were constantly watched and monitored by their captors. The family was subjected to a relentless campaign of mental torture. In the early morning of July 16, 1918, the family and their servants were asked to gather their belongings and led to the basement of the house. The Romanovs believed they were being relocated to a different place, however, in a sudden turn of events, they were met with an execution order by the Bolshevik secret police. Despite the initial barrage of gunfire, it was discovered that some members of the family had survived the attack. In a cruel and violent act, the remaining survivors were bayoneted and bludgeoned with rifle butts. Following the family's brutal execution, their bodies were buried in two separate graves, and the fate of two of the children remained unknown for almost nine decades. Finally, in 2007, their remains were discovered, allowing for a long-awaited sense of closure and honoring of their memory. To honor their legacy, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who is a direct descendant of Serena Alexandra, provided a blood sample to assist with the identification process. The DNA from the Romanov remains was then compared to Prince Philip's DNA, as well as the DNA samples provided by the Duke of Fife and Princess Xenia Sheremetev Safiri, who are related to the Tsar. The results confirmed the identities of the deceased members of the family.
Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the Romanov dynasty. We hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and let us know in the comments which Romanov fact blew your mind.